Good morning, Your Worship. Good, Good morning. So uh, I'm Mayor Kevin Davis, City of Brantford. I'm here in the City Council Chambers because we, uh, we have a very important announcement to make uh, this morning in collaboration with the provincial and federal governments. And that is why we have some very special guests with us today. And before I introduce them, I want to apologize to those who may be viewing that this is actually our very first virtual uh, announcement. And so we may have a few little hiccups. So just bear with us and be patient, please. So we have with us today, the Honorable Philomena Tassi, who's the Minister of Labor. That's the Federal Minister of Labor and Member of Parliament for Hamilton West and Catherine Dundas. And uh, she's here on behalf of the Honorable Catherine McKenna, Minister of Infrastructure and Communities. Minister, we're very honored and happy to have you with us, especially since you come bearing gifts. Um, we also have, so Minister, if you'd like to deliver a few opening remarks, we also have with us uh, our MPP, uh, Will Roma here representing the provincial government. So Minister Tazzy, why don't you, uh, now is your time to say a few opening remarks. Well, thank you, uh, Your Worship. Very happy to be here uh, this morning and uh, to be joined by, of course, uh, Will, Will Buma. Thank you for taking the time. Um, and I do want to thank all those uh, that put made this possible today, this virtual announcement. Um, you know, we're all, uh, we're all learning, and I know a great deal of work goes into um, uh, making these announcements possible virtually, and my first virtual announcement. So thank you uh, to all who, uh, who have worked hard to, so, so that we can deliver this very exciting news this morning. So good morning to everyone who's joining us. Um, we know that, uh, that we're facing unprecedented times. Uh, Canadians and people around the world have been impacted by COVID-19. And while the situation continues to evolve, all levels of government in Canada are taking decisive action now. And that's why I'm thrilled to participate in uh, today's announcement. Through joint federal, provincial and municipal funding, we are announcing today support for public transit projects in Brantford. I'm proud to announce that the government of Canada is investing over $5 million in expanding and upgrading Brantford's public transit system. These upgrades will help build a more accessible transit system, encourage ridership, and build a greener community. The investments are being made through the public transit infrastructure stream of the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Plan. First, the purchase of 21 new buses, 13 conventional, and eight paratransit will replace the retiring fleet. These buses will provide a smoother and more reliable ride for nearly 1.3 million riders that rely on the system every year. In addition, the installation of new fare boxes with smart card technology on buses will improve ridership monitoring for routes across the city. And new bus pads and shelters will provide riders with safer, fully accessible waiting areas. And finally, Key upgrades to the maintenance facility will keep the fleet well-maintained and ensure reliable service for years to come. Together, these investments will support a healthier, greener environment while directly improving the day-to-day -day lives of residents, helping them get to work, school, and essential services, and then back home on time. They will also create immediate and long-term jobs and promote economic growth at a time when our country needs it most. The Government of Canada is working closely with provinces, municipalities and other partners and stakeholders to get the projects built quickly, projects that make a positive difference in the lives of Canadians in these very trying times. We're making investments to grow the economy and create good jobs, improve people's quality of life and protect the environment. Through our his historic Investing in Canada plan, we are delivering on our promise to build sustainable, resilient communities. Here in Ontario, we've invested over $7.5 billion through our infrastructure plan towards more than 2,400 projects across the province. Projects that are strengthening our communities where you live, raise your families, and work. Your health and safety remain our top priority. Strong investments in infrastructure will help create jobs and strengthen the economy as it reopens and grows. This is critical to our country's recovery as we move forward and build our future. Working together, we will improve the lives of all Canadians. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Minister. I very much appreciate that announcement. 
And uh, we have now uh, our MPP for Brand Food Brand. Well, I understand you'd like to make some comments, uh, Mr. MPP, in, in, on behalf of the province. You bet. Uh, thank you, Kevin. And uh, thank you, Minister, so much for being here to help us make this announcement. And I think just the fact that we can do this together is such a testament to the, uh, the government of the province of Ontario and the government of Canada working so well together through the COVID crisis. And you're absolutely right that uh, we need to be making these investments uh, for the people in, in Canada and Ontario, and especially for us in Brantford and Brant. Um, it gives me great pleasure to be here on behalf of Ontario's Minister of Infrastructure, Lori Scott, and the Government of Ontario. And, and truly, as been, has been mentioned, uh, today's announcement brings exciting news for transit users and transit services in the City of Brantford. You know, last summer, I joined many of you to nominate these four public transit infrastructure projects after careful review to the federal government for funding under the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program. And I just wanted to give a shout out to our federal member here locally, uh, Phil McCollman. I was speaking to him this morning, and I know he's also shares my excitement that we're doing this. And uh, unfortunately, he has to be on a caucus call right now. Uh, today, and together, once again, we're celebrating the approval of projects that will renew and enhance Brantford Transit and improve the quality of life for residents of the city of Brantford and indeed in the entire region. And we've already talked about what those four things are, the, four, the, the fare boxes, the pads, the new buses, and, uh, and just the major, major, major uh, infrastructure that we're putting into that so that people can get to where they need to go. These investments will increase capacity and reliability while improving accessibility for passengers who requ re require specialized care. As the MPP that represents the city of Brantford, I know this funding will help make life easier, getting people where they want to go and when they want to get there. And I'm proud to be a part of a government that's made a commitment to invest more than $7.3 billion in transit infrastructure over the next 10 years through the Investing in Canada program. We all can agree that moving goods to market and people to jobs is a critical piece of our community's economic growth and recovery, especially after the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm thrilled that the city of Brantford has now been given the green light to move forward with building more public transit infrastructure. In the city of Brantford, our shovels are ready, ready to begin working to deliver better and more reliable public transit services to our community. We are connecting people and places to jobs and to places, sorry, to where they work, to a medical appointment, going to classes, going to school and back home to their families and we're gonna do that all on time. This announcement today could not have been possible without the partnership and collaboration of all three levels of government. And I would like to thank our municipal partners, especially Kevin Davis, the mayor of Brantford for his advocacy and our federal counterparts. Thank you, minister, for being here, for joining us in funding these four priority transit infrastructure projects. I look forward to making many more announcements like this one in our community very soon. And we'll continue to work closely with our federal partners to secure more project approvals. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you very much, Will, and thank you for being here and uh, participating in what is a, is a very significant announcement. And so on behalf of the City of Brantford and the Brantford City Council, you know, it's my absolute uh, pleasure to be here to show our appreciation for what will be very critical funding to make necessary and needed improvements to our transit system. And we know better than ever that uh, public transit systems, you know, have, there's a clear correlation between improved economies and better opportunities for people living, working in a play in urban areas. And a transit system is an important component of that. You know, I certainly, I hear that uh, many, many times through the week and through the months we're dealing with COVID-19, many employers telling me how critical our transit system is for moving their employees to work and keeping essential industries operating. And so the city of Brantford is very much grateful for this very much needed uh, funding that it's already an integral part of our city's plans to evolve and improve our transit system to meet the, the changing needs and demands of our ever growing population. And of course, to reduce the city's carbon footprint. And, you know, specifically, this funding has been allocated towards replacing the city's aging bus shelter and addressing the need for additional shelters throughout the city. And when you think about that, that is critical to have a, have a transit system that is used by many people, especially during periods of inclement weather, through the winter and through periods when we have 
you know, rainstorms. I mean, if people cannot be safe and warm as they're waiting for a bus and shelter from the weather, they won't use the transit system. So it's a very critical component that we know we needed to improve. And now with these monies, we will be able to improve. Also, you know, the Investing in Canada Infrastructure Program, um, that we're, the announcement we're making today under that program will allow the, the city of Brantford to improve the overall rider experience, not only while people wait for the next bus, but also when the bus arrives at their stop. And that's because this money will allow for the purchase of 13 new, what we call conventional buses, and eight very new specialized buses. It will allow for uh, the replacement of fare boxes with upgraded smart card technology and upgrades to the transit maintenance facility over the next three years. And the upgrade to the smart, the, the, the smart card technology is absolutely critical. If we had that in place, it would have been much easier and more economical for us to modify our transit system as we did over the last three months to protect our drivers, you know, while well at the same time being able to collect fares. And smart card technology will allow that to be done. And so I think this will allow us to adapt and deal with our current situation, but if there should be any further, you know, pandemics, problems in the future, we'll have a transit system that can respond and adapt to that. So there's no question that you know, this funding announcement and the funds being provided by this collaboration with our federal and provincial partners will absolutely improve our transit system that will be to the benefit of not only those who use transit, but all those who benefit and in an ancillary way from our transit system, which are pretty much all of us because it's important for our economy. And thus it's going to make a very significant difference to the entire community. Again, I wanna thank the minister and her MPP for this and the provincial and federal governments obviously representing it uh, for this announcement. Be rest assured we're gonna be putting the money to good use to improve our transit system. So, uh, well, again, thank you then. And uh, I'm not sure, I don't think we have any press. We thought there might be. Uh, yes, Minister, we thought there might be an interest by the press. Uh, I guess there's a virtual technology hang up there. But uh, I guess with that, um, I'll call uh, this very important announcement for our community. And as I said, very representative of a, of a great collaboration between the various levels of government which we hope will continue into the very near future as we deal with other funding requests. So I hope you all have a, a great day and uh, thanks again. Thank you, Mayor. You as well. Thank you. Thanks, Your Worship. Thank you, Minister. Take care. Thank you. Bye.